Are you a Minecraft channel that's been hit with false ID claims? Then I've got some information for you that just may help you out. And if you're monetized, help you keep some of your revenue earnings. So earlier today, I did a Minecraft stream on my channel and it was some of the most fun I've had in Minecraft in a long time. However, later after the stream, I noticed that I was hit with a content ID claim. Yeah, DMCA'd on a Minecraft video. Now, I almost let this one go. There are a lot of times when I get hit by content ID claims on video games and, you know, if it's something new or it's a game that has some strict licensing, you know, by a huge music label, I probably won't even bother. I, I won't win against Warner Brothers Records or Universal Music, uh, you know, so I, I understand that it's a fight that's gonna be uphill all the way. Most of the time when I get a content claim, I give the claimant a quick glance, see that it's from whichever studio or copyright owner, and I go about my way. I'm too small to be monetized by YouTube and I don't care about ad revenue. I doubt I will care about it even when I get monetized. And like I said, if it's from a huge studio, I let them have it. It's their work that I'm transforming after all, so what does it matter? Now this time, however, I paused. For one thing, it struck me as odd that I was getting hit on a game like Minecraft, considering how littered YouTube is with Minecraft content. And the second thing that gave me pause was the content owner, a company by the name of Lo-Fi Bloom. I don't have to play Among Us to know that something was very sus about all of this. I mean, what could <laughs> Lo-Fi Bloom and Microsoft or Mojang have in common after all? So I decided to push it. Typically, when you get a content ID claim, you can dispute the claim from your YouTube studio dashboard, but it's a slow process. And I'm an impatient person, so I decided to do my own footwork on this and go directly to the source. Something similar happened to me about a year and a half ago with one of my live streams of Final Fantasy IV, and I went round and round with a company called CD Babies in daily emails. I emailed them so much they eventually got tired of me and released all of their claims. So once again, I found the copyright owner, the actual copyright owner. I located the page on Minecraft's content creation and broadcasting terms and use guidelines. And then I contacted this lo-fi bloom. Within minutes of sending the email, I got a response and a promise to release the claim, yay. Now, you might be asking why this matters. If I'm not a member of the partner program, why even do this if I have very little interest in ad revenue? Because if I, a small content creator, has been hit with a false ID claim, then surely there are others that have been hit as well. And for one reason or another, Either they let it go or they're afraid that if they fight it, then it won't get removed so they don't bother fighting it. And I think the number one reason that I decided to pursue this is, well, I don't like scammers. And if I can do something to help someone else out, I will. I'm not here to bash YouTube's content claim system. We all know it's flawed and we all know it needs a massive overhaul. And we all know that it's abused by scoundrels that will exploit it for profit. It's a system that only works some of the time. And if you're a content creator with a valuable piece of work that maybe someone else on the platform is using without your permission, it's a tool that you can use to your benefit. The issue is that most of us have a sort of flawed sense of how the fair use policy works. And we expect a simple button press is all it takes to get the job done. Sadly, that isn't the reality. The burden of proof is squarely on our shoulders, and while I would love nothing more than for YouTube to swoop in and save me from the big bad scammers, it's never gonna happen on a practical level. Not unless you sign away all the rights to your content, and then it belongs to YouTube, and well, it's theirs to fight for. Where this gets truly frustrating is in a situation where another channel on the platform uploads your content without your permission, and then, claims your content as their own. You know, in a situation like that, you don't have very many options. You can try appealing to YouTube, contacting the offending party, or ultimately just taking them to court. 
Companies cheat the YouTube system because they figured out that if they license a remix of popular game music, they can try to use that excuse as a means of claiming ownership. And then when they get called out on it, the response is always the same. Oh, you see, it's not us. It's the YouTube system. Yeah, yeah, the system is broken. It's, that's what, yeah, you've been falsely claimed. Don't worry, guy. It's just a remix. We'll, we'll take care of it. I mean, great, problem solved, except for the hundreds, possibly thousands of other people that get a claim that they don't bother to dispute, and then they get thousands of dollars stolen from them. Now, I wanna be absolutely clear. I am not suggesting that you blindly fight every single claim. Know your content, be confident in what you're creating, and know your rights and not just what some guy like me is telling you. Actually know your rights and the limits of those rights. Understand the difference in a fight you can solve through emails and one that you have to take before a judge. And be aware of the fact that for every claim from a shady company that you let go because it isn't worth the effort, that's just more encouragement that these scammers get to scam someone else. As of now, I'm waiting on the claim to be removed and I am completely prepared to send more emails if I need to. Now, if you're a Minecraft channel and you've made some videos that have been hit with false content claims and you are actually interested in what the real terms of usage are, then I will put a link to the Minecraft usage terms page in the description. I really suggest that you give that a read and know exactly what the usage terms are what the creator of the music wants people to be able to do with it and what restrictions there are. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helps you out in some way. And if you've been the victim of predatory DMCA claims on your content, I'd definitely like to hear about some of your experiences and how you may have had those claims reversed. Don't forget to help out the channel by punching the sub button and hitting like on the video. It really does help to get this out there to more viewers. Also, don't forget that I stream almost every single day. And if you want to come by and say hello in chat, I'd love to have you there. Guys, have an amazing day. Keep being awesome. And I will see you all in the next video.